Good evening and welcome to our annual Blue Christmas service at St. Peter's. We're grateful that you are here. Whether you're a longtime member of St. Peter's or you simply found this video because one of your friends liked and shared it on their newsfeed, we are glad you are here. Whether you're watching on YouTube or on Facebook, you'll see a link to our bulletin. Uh, we hope that you will follow along, pray and sing as we make this worship together, as we bring our hearts together. And now some brief prayer. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Gracious God, at this time of year, our hearts might be joyful, but they also might be hearts of sorrow. This has been such a difficult year for so many reasons. And we bring our hearts before you, Lord, in honesty, with candor, trusting you with our vulnerability as we step into this space where we can be real about the complexity of our feelings at this time of year. The world around us may be calling us to deck the halls and sing fa la 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 la, and at the same time, our hearts may be breaking. And so we bring those broken hearts to you, O God, trusting you, your healing light, your grace, and your love. Amen. reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her hard service has been completed. Lift up your eyes and look to the heavens. Who created all these? He who brings out the starry host one by one, and calls forth each of them by name. Because of his great power and mighty strength, not one of them is missing. Why do you complain, Jacob? Why do you say, Israel? My way is hidden from the Lord. My cause is disregarded by my God. Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble, stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on the wings like angels, like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. 
they will walk and not be faint. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from Psalm 22. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me, so far from the words of my groaning? O oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but I find no rest. In you, our ancestors trusted. They trusted and you delivered them. If it was you who took me from the womb, you who kept me safe by my mother's breast, since my mother bore me, you have been my God. Do not be far from me for trouble is near, and there is no one to help. God does not despise the affliction of the afflicted. God does not hide from me. When I cry to God, God hears me. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light.
We light this Advent candle to remember those persons who have been loved and lost. We pause to remember their name, their face, their voice. We give thanks for the memory that binds them to us this season, which anticipates Christmas. May God's eternal love surround them. We light this second candle to resume the pain of loss, the loss of relationships, the loss of jobs, the loss of health. And we gather up the pain of the past. We refer it to you, O God, asking that into our open hands, you will place the gift of peace. Refresh, restore, renew us, O God, and lead us into your future. We light this third candle to remember ourselves this Christmas time. We pause and remember the past weeks, months, and for some of us years of downtimes. We remember the poignancy of memories, the grief, the sadness, the hurts, the pain of reflecting on our own mortality. Let us remember that dawn defeats darkness. This fourth candle is lit to remember our faith and the gift of hope, which God offers to us in the Christmas story. We remember that God who shares our life promises us a place and time of no more pain and suffering. Let us remember the one who shows the way and who goes with us into our tomorrows. Oh, 
God, we come to you in this Christmas season with the pain growing inside us. As the nights have been growing longer, so has the darkness wrapped itself around our hearts. In this season of our longest nights, we offer to you the pain in our hearts, the traumas that some of us cannot put into words. Loving God, hear our prayer. And in your merciful love, answer. Compassionate God, there are those among us who are grieving over what might have been. A death or loss has changed our experience of Christmas. Once it was a special day for us too, but someone has died or moved away, or they have lost a job, a dream, a goal, a cause. We find ourselves adrift, alone, lost. Loving God, hear our prayer. And in your merciful love, answer. The Christmas season reminds us all that used to be and cannot be anymore. The memories of what was, the fears of what may be, stifle us. All around us, we hear the sounds of celebration, but all we experience is a sense of feeling blue. Please be near us this night. Loving God, hear our prayer. And in your merciful love, answer. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of God's Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you 
and remain with you on this day and always. Amen. for being with us. If you're finding this time of year difficult, this journey ahead seems very burdensome, we invite you not to walk alone. If you'd like information about the St. Peter Stephen Ministry, an opportunity to connect one-on-one -on -one with a spiritual companion, to be your companion on this journey, please let me know. Please email me at pblair at stpetersdelmar.net and I will help get you in touch with the Stephen Ministry or other pastoral care resources as you might need in this time of year. God bless you. Let us go forth into the world in the name of Christ. Thanks be to God.